it's Mel with the Cockeyed Homestead. And today, that name fits beautifully. The, the ends are on. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the ends are on. And I'm going to be putting in the doors. And then I have my secret weapon. It'll be so awesome. You will love this. Well, maybe. Um, so let me get the doors off and doors on. You know what I mean. The doors touch. And we'll. And the doors. I'll bring off. you over for my my special thing. <laughs> now, what we found, or Joe found, she says it's somewhere on uh, YouTube, but she can't remember where. These are, um, you know, like book report binder clips. You know what I mean? It goes over the plastic cover, you know, reports and stuff. Got a hundred of them for 17 and change, less than 20. Yeah. And, and this is what true. we're using. Well, number one, for measuring the door, but also to slip over so that when we reach in, we don't get hurt. So what I do is I have this here. And I open it up like this with a screwdriver so that it, you know, slides on easy. So, I put this up here, because you got all those little sharpie bits, and I don't care how much oh, how I careful you are. fiddle faddle and try to grind it down, mind your hand, fiddle faddle and try to grind them down, I always have one that's sharp and I end up having a fit and opening my own skin up. Now you see, you can reach in, and reach in, and you reach in, and look, I'm not bleeding. Yay! Okay, so you cut the doors out of your, your rabbit cage, okay? So don't throw it away, because there's something very cool. Now the first thing you want to do is count one, two, but not this monkey part, because that's going away and you bend it like that and then you count not this part but one two that over here and bend it okay now you've had that then you have my very favorite part which is cutting the wire oh this is where I always get hurt so cut this off all around which you could have done it differently than me like do it to where it's not bent over and all that fun stuff now once you have the top and those you know pointy bits off the back then you take this and you bend it over bend it over come on baby and if you want, you can weave these together. That would be awesome, too. I'm sure somebody out there will be doing a much better job than me. So now you have this. These are undone because it's that wide. Now you get this pointy bit off. Oh. Then you take this and you put it in the cage. Now I'm going to put this across here and there, you know, so that it doesn't scratch me again. And then all I do is just put the hay in there. Isn't that awesome? I'll give you a link to the guy that I got the idea from down below in the description. And then I just put these little doohickeys here and look at that. I can put hay in there. And look, I'm not bleeding from, from that, you know. <laughs> so that's how I'm building this 90 inch um my 90 inch um rabbit cages and there's three cages per the 30 inches long 90 inches yada yada yeah and I it's cockeyed I know shut up don't judge me they and, don't have to <laughs> we're the cockeyed homestead but I love this hay rack idea because, you know, constantly in and out, in and out, in and out. And, you know, you've got one that never eats hay and you've got another one that eats it the instant it's put in. And yeah, it'll be great. 
but I'm gonna have we're gonna have a water system through it it's gonna be nice and I'm gonna put the feed right underneath the, the little feed you know the silver ones I'm gonna put that underneath the hay rack so all that hay falls into the feed like the guy go down in the description the guy says and he does a much better job than I do um, but um, yeah the the little you know bits and pieces of hay fall down into the food oh, oh I love that so I'm very happy with it yeah. and now I have to build another one ah! the second time around is easier well this will be my third I made another one just to try out some of my ideas and you know that one worked out well too so now I have five cages and yes these are smaller than the regular one but these are going to be pretty active rabbits <laughs> you know us <laughs> I'm going to have a little yard for them to run around and I don't care get dirty whatever and all I have to do is brush them out put them back in their cage for the evening or, or you know for the rest of the day or whatever and they'll be fine so this has been Mel and Joe, and Joe at the Cockeyed Homestead. Y'all have a blessed day.